720, you can just copy what's on the screen. And then I just go to edit and paste. If you don't want to do it that way, you can just hit uh, Control and C. Or not Control C, Control V, and then paste it. So now what you want to do is you want to minimize this screenshot. All right, so I minimized mine about to this side. So now what you want to do is go to the pen tool, and you simply just want to cut it out. You can also hit P on your keyboard to get a shortcut to the pen tool. So I'm going to just cut this out, and I'll speed this part up. All right, so once you're done cutting it out, you want to right click inside of it, then make selection and hit OK. Now the fitted radius, you can either pick uh, 0, 1, or 2, it's up to you. But usually I pick 0, 1. So now that you do that, you want to go to your polygon, your lasso tool, and you just want to right click. Now the reason I had to select inverse is because I got these lines going around here. Anytime you do that, and you just want to um, select inverse because if you don't, it will come out looking like this. And if you had that problem, that's how you fix it. But I'm just hit Control and Z to go back, and simply I'm gonna select inverse, and then hit Control J. Now you can hit Control J to copy, or you could right click in the middle and hit layer view copy. It's up to you. I'm gonna hit Control J though. So now that I have the screenshot, what I want to do is change the background color. I'm just go down here, hit hue and saturation, hit colorize, then I'm gonna probably put it um like the closest color to his shirt. I'm gonna go like this color. So now what I'm gonna do is go to blend options on the background image. Then I'm gonna go to color overlay, and you can pick this right here. Now I don't do this on all my thumbnails, but I just started doing this, and it looks kind of good. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Now you wanna go to blend options on the actual my player. Then go to outer glow, and then inner glow, and you can just copy these settings. Inner shadow, and then drop shadow. Now for the drop shadow, you can lower the opacity. It's up to you really for this right here, but I usually have my opacity low. So, yeah, now that we got this right here, next thing I will do, just by looking at this thumbnail, I'm going to go get the 2K21 logo and show you guys how I made it look like that. So, if you ever wonder how people made the 2K logo look like this, I'm about to show you guys right now. So, you want to go to blending options on this, and you want to put the stroke on here. And I didn't have my stroke that big on that thumbnail because I just didn't like the way it looked. But you can rasterize the layer style now. You can go back to blending options and add a drop shadow. Now, the reason I said that's how they make it look like this. Also, make sure you got your angle on 90 degrees. But the way they make it look like this basically is they uh, lower the opacity, add the distance. They don't have a size, and they just put it to gray. Sometimes they had the opacity all the way up, though. But that's how you make the uh, logo look like that if you ever want to do it. But I'm going to have mine on black, and I'm going to turn the opacity down. And then just have it kind of looking like this. I'm going to up the size a little bit more. And you can just copy exactly what I do. So, now that I do that, I rasterize this. Hit Control c Bring it over here. And then hit Control v Now, I will have this behind my player. Hold Shift to bring it up in a straight line by dragging it. And kind of have it like this right here. So, now that I have this, what you want to do is go to Image. And then go to adjustments and then shadows and highlights. Now for this, it doesn't work on every image, but I usually mess with it just to see if I can make it look better. And if you hit control C, you can look at the before and after. In my opinion, it looks better like that. So now that you have this, we still have our 2K logo and I'm going to warp this now. So I just click on that and then right click in the middle to warp. Then I go to arc. Arc is my main warp that I do use on a lot of stuff. So just pick that. And I have it warped a little bit. Now, you don't have to warp it, but that's how I did it on that thumbnail. So, I would do it like that on here. All right. So, the next thing I'm going to do is go get my badges, as you can see on here. Now, I do have this in the recycle pack um, on my channel. I mean, yeah, on my channel. So, if you want to get those badges from that pack, you can. But it's up to you. All right. So, now I have the badges. I already added my filter and stuff on here. So, I'm just going to blend the options, which you can right-click on the layer and then click the options to go to. And show you my drop shadow. You can copy this if you want to make a thumbnail just like this, but drag it down until you get onto the uh, my player's hand. So now that we have it on his hand, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the shadow like I did in this thumbnail. Now it doesn't have to be that dark because it won't look as realistic, but just follow what I do if you want to learn how to make it. So basically, this is my size for my brush and everything up here. 
make sure the color is black and you just want to tap on the screen once you tap on the screen you want to hold shift and drag this down from the top while holding the shift so you can kind of like mess with the placement and have it drag down so you can make it smaller and kind of just have it like this All right, so once you find a spot, you just want to go in with kind of the erase tool. Or another thing I actually learned to do to make sure it's not off of his hand, you can right click on this layer. Well, right click like right here and select pixels. And then you hit control J on the uh, drop shadow or the shadow over there. And you just want to delete the bottom one. So what that does is make sure it the shadow doesn't go off of his hand and just stays on. But you also want to try to erase these little edge parts so it can look more realistic. All right, so now that you've done this, what you can do is hit Control J on that shadow and bring it all the way over here. Just hold Shift to drag it in a straight uh, line. And you also want to do the same thing with this one. So you can just zoom in and kind of erase it off of here. And this is my brush settings also, if you want to have these on. This is it right here. So yeah. So you can just lower the opacity on these, put on like 70. I don't remember what I had mine on, but yeah, you can just have it like that. All right, so now that you got that, you can mess with the lightness on the back a little bit more if you don't like the way it looked. But what I'm gonna do now is hit Control and U on the 2K logo to kind of make it a little more saturated. So once I do that, we can add some vibrance to this image. I'll go to the top, add vibrance, saturation, and stuff. And now what we can do is kind of make this bigger. So we just do like this and make them bigger all right so once you kind of fix the background or whatever happening with that now what we can do is go back and look at this thumbnail and see the next thing that we do so what i do have on this i have animated lines so i'm gonna go to file then open and you can also find this in the recycle pack and probably find it in a fix i'm gonna hit Control c on this go over here hit Control v and then put screen on and put it behind every layer so now what I will do is make it bigger, kind of like that. Hold shift the drag in the straight line. And I will just lower the opacity on it. Now the size is always your preference on how you want it. So yeah, just keep it like that if you want to. All right, so now we have this done, go back and look at it. And the next thing I will add is a little sunburst in the background. Now you can find that sunburst in my pack. If you can't, just DM me, but it is right here. So I know I put it in the recycle pack. I'm gonna hold Control C, bring it over here, hit Control V, and we also gonna make sure this is behind every layer. So you can choose to put it on linear dodge or add, or you can just choose to put it on screen, or you can choose to put it on overlay. All of it is really preference, but on that thumbnail, I had it on linear dodge add, and I had it on full opacity. I'm probably gonna lower it down to 90 on this thumbnail though. All right, so once we have that, it's time to add the text. And I had a little black border, so I'm going to show you guys how to add both of that. So what you want to do is go to File and then Open. And what we're going to be getting is the Sizzle Pack. I should have a link for it in the description, so if you need it, just DM me on Twitter. All right, so now that we have the pack open, it should look like this. So the reason I chose this pack is it's the closest thing to Celery Pack, and that is what I actually use in the thumbnail. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I'm going to get out of here. So the dark border is gonna be the first thing. You just wanna hit Control C, then bring it over here and hit Control V. Also wanna make sure the border is above everything. And just hold Shift so you can center it. Once you find the center, hold Shift again and bring it up. So once you have the center, just lower the opacity on this. You can also lower the opacity on this uh, saturation and vibrance a little bit also. Just lock uh, both of these layers right here. So it should be looking something like that. So the next thing I didn't tell you guys is I also added these shooting stars in the background. I don't know if you guys could tell, but put it under your human saturation uh, layer and make it screen. Now what I did do is lower the opacity on these a lot when I did add it. So now that I added all this, we just go to the layer styles in this pack. And these are similar to what I use since I can't give you guys the celery pack. So you can just choose whatever you want. This is probably the closest one. So you just want to hit Control C and bring it over and hit Control V to paste it. All right, so once you did this right here, uh, you, you can just put whatever you want, but the thumbnail was six, seven point center. So I'm gonna put that. 
All right, so once I put the text, I, I just rasterized the layer, but you want to add a drop shadow, and you can just follow what I do for the drop shadow if you want to. I do this, then I rasterize it again, and then I add an art to it. I go to ward, and then add my arc. Now, for the arc, I don't make it that big, but it's around, like, right here, so it's not even tilting a lot. Just like that, and you want to bring it that size down so. So now that you have all this, if you feel like some of this is too much, you can always take something off the thumbnail. If I took anything off, it would either be the animated lines or it would be the uh, thing in the background. So I'm going to just take off the animated lines and see how it look, even though it's not going to be exactly like this. But I'm going to just take it off. So we can merge visible now that we have everything on the thumbnail. And one thing I'm going to do as soon as I get done, I'm going to show you guys how to line it up and make it look better. So I go to camera raw filter, which is the first thing I do when I get done. All right, now that I'm in camera raw filter, I up the highlights, up the shadows, up the whites. And for that thumbnail, I turn down the blacks, but I know I added some contrast also. I also added some texture and you can just play around with it because you can see mine is distorted. So I really can't see what I'm doing, but just kind of add some of the stuff I added. So you can go down here and mess with some of this also, but I did put 10 on my green well actually i put seven on my green i know that for a fact but now that we have all this we can just hit okay and you see how it came out now it looks like it's a little bit too much too much saturation on the thumbnail but you guys can change that around if you want to so next thing i will do is go to topaz and i'm gonna put on mild detail now for mild details i'm gonna uh, keep it like this and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do so once we come back after it look like too much details on, what you want to do is go to reduce noise and kind of have something like that. So my reduce noise did cancel. I'm going to show you guys how to do it again. Reduce noise, having like four. That's what I had on that. So now that we have all of this, what I'm going to do next is create a new layer, get the brush, and we can just switch this around. You guys can kind of pick the color that's on the text with the color picker and do this right here. So you want to add screen after doing that and you can lower the opacity next thing you would do is pick the color of this right here and try to get the lightest form of that color so it'll be like right there just want to tap on it hit screen so it can look like it's kind of glowing and you want to do the exact same thing with the other badge get like the lightest version of this color but still make sure it's light purple i'm gonna go like right here and then you want to tap on this also Go to screen and it will be glowing. So once you do this, you can merge these layers. And what I did when I was at the end of the thumbnail, I went back to the border. Let me show you guys. I went back to the dark border, added it again. And you know, guys know how I copy it and stuff. So so basically what I did, I centered the border again, a little opacity a lot more this time. And then we can merge visible. Now this is what I got. It's completely different kind of from the other thumbnail, but I'm gonna compare the two at the end. So I'm gonna start doing when I do these tutorials, I'm gonna compare the two. We can see which thumbnail will look better. So you see how they kind of changed up, but everything is preference. If you like number one, you like number one, you like number two, you like number two. But after all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if it did help you out.